Um, also, uh, at the gig in Stafford, someone asked me to satirise a local tree. Um, because, I don't know if it's been big news in the States, John, but the uh, yew tree on the Shugbra estate has been nominated for Tree of the Year. <laughs> Which is... I mean, that's amazing that that, that competition exists. <laughs> The tree of the year. I mean, that shows the natural competitiveness of the human soul. They were even making trees compete with each other. Uh, this tree is, uh, this celebrity is, uh, claims to be the widest tree in Britain with a 175 metre circumference. That is one fat ass tree. Uh, and some people have complained that most of the trees on the shortlist are very old. And I guess there's really no substitute for experience when you're a tree but i mean i guess you worry that you're not really encouraging the young trees if none of them get on the short list uh, and also some of the big money botanical gardens have been buying in expenses expensive overseas trees so you think what's the point of the competition uh, hopefully it'll raise the standards of the other trees i mean also tree of the year how much are these trees going to change by next year i mean that surely a decade at at, at the very least is all that's uh, that's needed but um I sincerely hope, John, that the Shugbury U doesn't win. Uh, I mean, it might be wide, but it's uh, it's an absolute mess looking at it. I reckon if it does win, it'll show there's match fixing, and uh, it would be an absolute con if a tree like that wins. Oh no! I, c- I can feel it coming. Can can you, can you feel it coming? Stop it! Don't ah, do it. Be the bigger shit! Man. I can't fight it, John. Strap in. There's a lot, a lot of lovely puns on trees. Okay, now um, I don't approve this competition, but the homepage. It's had loads of hits this week. I don't know why it's so popular. Uh, makes me sick. A more pointless competition I cannot imagine. Anyway, how can you judge between one tree uh, and the others? I like all the trees. But I've heard that fans of the Shugbury have been trying to make one of the other nominated trees look worse by getting beavers to nibble away at it. But that would obviously be cheating. You have to trust the integrity of a contest, and if they don't sort it out, the sponsors may pull their support for the competition. But uh, I've got a friend of mine, John, who hates trees. Uh, he had a terrible... John, you're still there. He had a terrible accident when he fell out of a tree as a child. As a result, he has no arms. It's quite awkward because he's a journalist. He has to write with his buttocks using his ass pen. He uh, also had his testicles grafted onto his pecs as a result of the accident, leaving him with some sweet chestnuts. A bit embarrassing when he takes his top off on a hot summer's day, though. You should see the looks he gets. <clears throat> see that? Anyway, a strange guy. He used to absolutely love playing strategic board games whilst riding an animal. He was an absolute horse chestnut. And uh, I think we're done. Uh, I do think... Uh, oh, no, there was one. Oh, yeah. No, so we hopped in a cart and drove to Kew Gardens to protest about the tree competition, but just as we were passing an Australian tree, this idiot on a motorbike tried to overtake us. There wasn't enough space, and he knocked our wing mirror off. Oi, I shouted. You clipped us. For <laughs> sake, that's going to be expensive to fix. You will owe us at least £50. I'll make sure of that. You pay up, or I'll headbutt you. I will nut you in the face. Right, I need a hot drink to calm down. Teak, offy, anything. Right, uh, that's the officially uh, officially the end. Um, that that was a long walk to a eucalyptus joke. <laughs> <laughs> that was the initial uh, title of Mandela's book, I think, wasn't it? <laughs> anyway, sorry, it's just when I start doing these puns, the feeling's too strong. I I can't suppress it. Anyway, but uh, I had this friend, John. Um, who uh, he, uh, he had this nasty genital condition where if he saw any large American trees, his, 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 his wangle would swell up. The skin on it would get really raw and he'd have an uncontrollable in- involuntary erection. Poor lad and his giant redwood. All right. Is I anyone, is anyone still there? I have to live with, Andy. Right. What a blue way to finish. I mean, <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't catch John doing that kind of stuff, would you? Not Mr. Olive... Uh, don't don't bring me into this. <laughs> cool. Your surname started it, John. <laughs>